Mm -hmm. All right. Da -da -da -da. All right, how you doing? This is BK Black Rishni for ManfulWars.com here on uh, Sunday, uh, May 22nd, 2020 in downtown Toronto, Canada at College Park near College Station near Yugot College. And um, yeah, promoting play patriotism and help nice ladies and gents teach kids to look, talk and feel great offline and to help us discuss great online info offline as better people making better places to live. So currently right now people are acting rude and sketchy and making each other uncomfortable and running around shaking near strangers uh, and rubbing in, rub, bumping into or rubbing up against them to force you to see them get worked up like a pretend grumpy wife or girlfriend. And again, what are you supposed to do? Somebody can't explain why they're worked up shaking near people. You bother them back? No. You bother other people? No. You just politely ignore it. Everybody happier. You feel better. Self-respect. Don't be a mess for somebody else. They like being ignored. Probably want to stop. And everyone around gets to relax and mind their business or know it's safe to be nice to you. And people are often very nice to me. Animals are very nice to me when they see I'm not worked up bothering people. I don't pay attention to people worked up bothering me. I don't, don't bother them back, typically. Um, <clears throat> so here at College Park, I've, I've got my... Uh, I try to keep my self-respect and, and not uh, lose mine and take anybody else's. I used to be able to look away when people were acting sketchy and they'd stop. They'd get embarrassed and stop. But as regular straight guys, nothing to look at, no one to look, uh, want to get looked at instead of talk because they're discouraged from talking. They have nothing to look at, no one to look, so they have to force you to look at them. And because they're big strong, they make everyone else put up with an act like them, and that makes us all the same zombie. That's why it all looks the same. Right? That's why it's, you're not going to like this, force you to put up in the act like this, force you to see this, and so on, right? So, um, anyway, you can see more at manforwars.com, what happened, how it happened, and so on. But um, right now, I'm going to uh, uh, take a little trip through College Park and then through the Eaton Center. And uh, one of my theories right now, and uh, i got all a bunch of stuff going on at manforwars.com, but one of my theories right now is that if men, in particular, because men want to feel useful, women want to feel special. You can say that to any of them. They all agree. They might, they might feel guilty and act stupid and make you both uncomfortable, but they like it. You know, they just can't help it. It's just because guys do it and make everyone, all the other guys put up with and act like it, then girls and kids, or they sexually harass each other. They still want to look at each other. That's why they still have to force you to look at them, right? They sexually harass each other and, and they still want to look at each other. They're not gay. They're not gay guys trying to, hey, let's make it easier to get along and talk. It's like, no, don't put up with me. It makes us quite uncomfortable. And, um, and so they're brainwashed that way because they should be doing that. And then um, they jealously harass girls, try and steal attention they get so the girls can't relax and be cute, feminine, whatever. So they have to do the same thing. And then kids have to do the same thing. So that's why it's all the same. Um, but, uh, but if there are some men around, and I've proven this at manforwars.com, people are fine if men take a leadership role on these things, help people relax, respect each other, and teach kids to. They either are super nice about it or they like being ignored, acting stupid, probably want to stop. And so um, one of my uh, thesi here, and this is just after seeing... Uh, an Alex Jones special show yesterday, Infowars.com, the Ron Gibson channel on BitChute, um, where he had a three-hour special, had a, a few guests on, had a guest, Robert Barnes, constitutional lawyer, saying this is crazy, no matter what happens, if we get rid of our rights, the place will suck anyway, we shouldn't do that, uh, to sort of sum it up. And um, you had uh, people like, uh, like Jones, somebody Jones, I forget his name, but it's on the Saturday show, Saturday, uh, March 21st, 2020, special broadcast, They're usually not on on Saturdays. But um, this guy was a guy from Hawaii. He'd done some traveling because he's a filmmaker, and he'd hung out with somebody who had a, 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 a who supposedly tested positive for COVID-19 coronavirus. So he went to get tested in Hawaii, and he found they wouldn't test him. They gave him a little pee, checked off boxes, temperature, traveled, blah blah blah, and they wouldn't test him. And then he spent three hours at this Hawaii testing place that said that they had tests going on all the time, and there was nobody there. There was nobody there and they were turning people away. So are they trying to make this worse? Are there some corrupt people in power you know, that are trying to make things worse? We need to deal with this. So one of my theses right now is can men understand Alex Jones, right? Can men understand Alex Jones? You have to agree with everything, you know, obviously, and he's, he's not perfect, but he's kind of like your big brother versus big brother, right? Instead of being kind of careful in this sort of quiet, kind of TV gay way, you know, hi, how's it going? Yeah, you know how it is. I'm just silly, stupid, ha, ha, ha. Instead of that, um, which is sort of a style, he's been yelling at the man for 20 years, right? In 20, 25 years. He's been, ah, dad, the man's gonna, they're gonna release a bioweapon and launch martial law. That's crazy. You know, he's been saying that for 20, 25, and now it's here, right? So um, it's a different energy, right? With a guy that's that's been yelling at the man as opposed to a guy that's trying to avoid saying the wrong thing. 
right? Hey, how's it going? Oh, should I even ask? I don't know if it's my business. I'm not sure. Hey, hey, hey your black friend. Oh, should I say black? I, 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 I don't, I'm not racist, but I, what am I? Instead of that, he's been sort of balls to the wall when it comes to, uh, to, to getting people to man up uh, and woman up as well against tyranny. Men, men should fight when it comes to this sort of thing. Women, eh, you know, it's up to them. I, you don't want to pressure them. That's gross. You know, but if men don't man up and fight, they're gross. They're rude, sketchy, ugly girls, and they're all the same. That's why it all looks the same, because there's nothing appropriate for men to switch to. Right? If I'm a man, if I'm, if I'm a woman, I'm like, miserable bitch, no reason. You're like, no way. She's like, okay, fine, cute girl, whatever. Right? Like, she can relax, she can switch. Guys don't have anything to switch to. That's why they have to force each other to look at each other, and they make everyone put up with an act like, there's nothing to switch to. There's no way that guy, would that, unless they're gay or trans or something, and they're taking it seriously. But if they're just a regular dude, they get away with you. You're not going to like this, probably. Whereas if a girl's like that, hey, well, bitch, no reason. Nah, nah. Yeah, she can switch. Okay, vulnerable, cute girl, sorry, don't be mad at me. Whatever, right? So they have, they, girls have options when it comes to that, with regular guys. But when, when this happens to men, then, uh, then, then, then the women and children get taken out too. And that's how everyone is the same zombie to avoid making another regular straight guy zombie upset. Right? Straight guy zombie comes up to you, hey, this guy who touched my hair, wiped my face. Wipe my nose, look at my toes, jump in my mouth, look at my body, look at my butt, worked up, put up with me, don't, don't say anything, I don't feel guilty, embarrassed, lie and argue, blah, 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 blah. right? If, if they do that, a regular big old straight guy, then other guys will, ah, you know, and girls will, ah, what are you supposed to do? You know, if girls are nice, guys get jealous, you know, they get, ah, I dare you, I'm trying to force every guy to look at me like I'm a girl, but I don't even try to look like a girl, it's hard, it goes on for years, sucks, make everyone uncomfortable, right? And, um, and, uh, and, and so if she's nice, then they get jealous, and if she's mean, they get mad. Right? So, ah, stupid bitch, TV makes you foolish, fool yourself, well, whatever. So it becomes a problem. So um, if men can understand Alice Jones, not agree with everything, not whatever, be your own man, not even be a, a super hardcore evangelist, but if they can at least understand it, then that can break them out of some of this, right? And there's lots of people out there who are like, oh, I thought you were crazy, I thought you were crazy. But then I saw more and more stuff, more and more surveillance, more and more censorship, more and more whatever. And now with the sort of coronavirus, COVID-19 martial law, this is a, a great chance to sort of see if men can do that and can man up. And it's not just him, it's all, all the guests he has, and there's many, many others. But it's just being able to say, yeah, I get it, I understand, I can handle it, I'm a man. So what, that man's yelling, he's yelling about some stuff, if it's smart, enjoy, if it's stupid, laugh at it. Who the hell cares, right? So um, anyway, so I've got my stuff here to keep my self-respect, not lose mine, take anybody else's. Used to be easy to look away, but as it gets worse and worse, you gotta do more and more to avoid it. Turn it inside out, so not advertising inside uh, a business, and we'll go and we'll take a look. So this is College Park. This has all been shut down just last week, and it's going to be more and more. Just, just I have, I have video list last week. This was open. People, could, people were sitting here. There was actually lots of people here, surprising about. Maybe some homeless, maybe some whatever, maybe some uh, invalids or whatever. But now it's all shut down. And so every day, there's going to be more and more shutdowns like this. And now you've got lines at the grocery store. Everyone's got to be 20 feet away from each other. And they're only going to let in 20 people at a time. And this is a massive overreaction, but if they get people to sort of go along with this, they get men to go along with this, men are fine, they can make sure that other men are cool, women and kids aren't scared. But if they don't, then this appears to be kind of the future, more and more and more tyranny, right? If the guy can stop running around, make, uh, making everyone near him uncomfortable, then run around shaking near strangers, then they can respect each other and communicate well and... Uh, uh, they can stop spreading the potential disease, right? Because if you're going to stand 20 feet away from each other, uh, you know, in, in, in a lineup at a grocery store, that's fine. But if people acting rude and sketchy and make each other uncomfortable are running too close to people to force you to put up with them or rubbing up against or bumping into people, then how does that, how does that work? Right? How does that be? If they're going to try, they know you're not going to like it, they're going to run too close to you, force you to put up with them, spazzing out and running away. How is that, how is that in simpatico with this? All these people nicely maintaining... 15 feet distance, right? So, um, anyway, so, uh, just, excuse me, how are you doing, man? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah, good luck out here, man. Cheers. So, um, so if men help people stop, it should be okay, because then they can respect each other and communicate well, and, uh, and then girls and kids will stop, because they don't want to want to run around shaking near strangers, big people paranoid. What type of little girl wants to attack some grown-ass man? Or you should put up with them. But this is, again, they're staying away from each other in line, but there are people still acting rude and sketchy and making each other uncomfortable and then running around bumping into and shaking near strangers. And that's not very good when it comes to a virus pandemic. They come too close to you, they know you're not going to like it, they make it hard to do anything else. Once they do, if they stop with people they know, then they'll stop bothering strangers. Because who has the time to wander around for strangers to put up with you? Yeah. 
And there's Tim Hortons, probably takeout only. Right? So if these men can understand, at least understand Alex Jones, at least understand the deep state, at least understand nationalism versus globalism, not agree with everything, and there's many other people, if you don't like him and his gravelly voice, whatever. But if you can't handle that, you can see what happens. The opposite is, is what happens, right? Instead of being, God damn it, the man, we're going we're gonna to fight. We're gonna, blah, 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 you know, but instead of that, which is probably, you know, a little much at times, you may want to be like, chill out, man, grab beer, let's rock. But the opposite is, hey, worried about everything, you know how it is. How's it going? I can't say anything anymore. What? You look at me play with my hair. You get worked up. I can't talk anymore. I don't know what to say. I'm not politically correct. Right? So that's what's causing problems. So if, if, if this guy could understand that, that he wouldn't just be a mess near people and then run around and make people, everyone near him uncomfortable and then run around trying to force strangers to put up with it. Right? So that's important. So anyway, a last shot of uh, the College Park experience there at the grocery store. Otherwise, fairly quiet. You know, the, the virus could kill, whatever, a few thousand people, but car accidents kill thousands of people. Should we just all quarantine because, because we, car accidents kill people? Uh, you know, uh, the regular flu kills thousands of people a year, right? We've been through uh, SARS and MERS and Ebola and bird flu and swine flu, right? So if men can understand Alex Jones, they can stop acting rude and sketchy. This poor person will stop acting rude and sketchy, making everyone uncomfortable, then running around trying to force strangers to put up with it. Because that's what happens when regular straight guys kind of are, are destroyed and fall apart, is uh, they make everyone kind of rude, sketchy zombies. And it's the same zombie, right? Because there's nothing to look at, no one to look. So they, they can't, if they do it with each other, they don't want to look, and they bother each other, and then they make everyone else bother everyone, and then people can't communicate well, and then people kind of fall apart and are easier to control. So... That is the College Park experience. And we'll shut this down for now, and then we'll try at the Eaton Center and see what's going on there. Uh, BK Black Krishna for ManfulWars.com, here on a fairly quiet Sunday, March 22nd, 2020, at 12.20 p.m. And there's another rude sketchy zombie running near people, shaking and running away, who could be a polite Canadian if more men made sure. Uh, and then they wouldn't act rude and sketchy, make each other uncomfortable, uh, and run shaking near strangers, trying to force strangers to put up with them, right? Because this person used to be a polite Canadian, right? Well, regular straight guys falling apart, right? They, uh, they, they sexually harass each other, force you to look at them. Nothing to look at, no one to look, so they have to force you to. But they make everyone put up with an act like them, and that's how it's all the same zombie, just running near people. Not going to like it, you got to get away with bother you, run away, right? So that's an issue. So anyway, BK from ManforWars.com. Hope this helps. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, share, get in touch with questions, financial support, to work together, whatever as you'd like. Hope this helps, and I'll talk to you soon.